Tuban, Parlimen Tuban Tiwarun dan Oba, Garu Jana di Petu Tuba itu dia, Amat itu Durian he, dan Jata Antri ke Sama Jawa di Jana Rade, Anu Krama Via Basta Awa, Araksha Awa Ta, Sahani Tia Ta Anu Kula Awa, Awang Kawa Itu Karena Bawa Ta Da. श्री लंका ये श्री लंका प्रजातांत्रिक समाजवादी चंद्रजे आनुकूल व्यवस्था एचएम विजित है रत्वन मामा विदेश काटे हुतु विदेश रक्या सह संचार कामात कार्य सह कार्तवय श्री लंका प्रजातांत्रिक समाजवादी चंद्रजे आनुकूल में व्यवस्था और सह नीति और आनुकूल अवांक वही टुकरन बाप दान दी मैं बाले वागकीम सहिताई काट दे एक अपेक्त कीम पुरवेश्यं टा वागकीम सहिताई मैं बाले अनित पैतिं व्यापार टा वागकीम सहिताई इन सम्मान हितन वां अनपनात्तुलिं विवस्तावलिं बाविताविं कुमनाकारे बाले कपट निर्माणे करला दुन्ना मैं बाले आपी हैसरी वी मेदी आपी वागवी मंडला कुई तुई एक अपेक्त कीम पुर Sri Lankans have handed President Anura Kumara Disanayake a strong win in a snap general election, giving him more power to fight poverty and corruption. Disanayake, a political outsider, easily won the presidential election in September, but his Marxist-leaning collision, the National People's Power, had only three of Parliament's 225 seats before Thursday's election, prompting him to dissolve it and ask for a new mandate. The NPP won at least two-thirds majority or nearly 62% of the vote, according to results Friday from Sri Lanka's election commission. Voters directly elect 196 members to parliament, and the remaining 29 seats are assigned based on each party's overall tally. More than 17 million Sri Lankans were eligible to vote for lawmakers for a five-year term. A record 690 political parties and independent groups were running in 22 districts. Although the president has executive power, he needs a parliamentary majority to form a cabinet and fulfill promises on taxes, business, and poverty. Disanayake also plans to abolish Sri Lanka's controversial executive presidency, but needed a two-thirds majority in parliament to do that. Sri Lanka's 2022 crisis caused by a foreign currency shortage caused the economy to shrink 7.3% in 2022 and 2.3% last year. With a $2.9 billion bailout from the International Monetary Fund, the economy is recovering, but high living costs remain a major issue, especially for the poor.